Friday in Politics, Chapter 1 Each year are opened around 800 criminal cases related to some form of sexual violence. Only 10 to 12 percent of victims turn to the police or the prosecutor's office. The statement is taken and registered from only one out of five victims. And only 3% of cases make it to trial. It is easier to prove rape if there are injuries. And if the rapist wears a condom, it's considered consent. No injuries, consent. Rape is a subjective crime. According to the Ministry of Internal Affairs, for 11 months of 2022, 70,000 cases of domestic violence were registered in Belarus. There is no law against domestic violence in Belarus. A similar document was drafted several times, but in October 2018, Lukashenko sharply criticized another version of the draft law, calling it a piece of garbage taken from the West. Poland's Constitutional Court ruled on October 22, 2020 that legislative authorization on the ground of a severe and irreversible fatal defect or an incurable fatal life-threatening disease is unconstitutional. Such abortion cases account for almost 98% of all abortions in Poland. Body in Art Chapter 2 In the past, women couldn't get an art education because they weren't allowed to look at naked people, but they were always allowed to be exposed. History does not know of any paintings of artists drawing a nude model that involved a woman in any role other than that of the nude model herself. And this fact is an interesting observation on the laws of property. A woman, an underclass woman of course, has every right to expose herself as object to a group of men. But a woman has no right to take part in the active observation and painting of a naked man as object. An amusing example of this taboo on the subject of the closed woman and the naked man is a group of portraits of members of the Academicians of the Royal Academy by Johann Zofani. The academics are gathered in a bright hall in front of two nude models. All the distinguished members of the academy are present, with one notable exception. The only female academician, the famous Angelica Kaufmann, for reasons of propriety, is present in the form of her portrait hanging on the wall. Body at War Chapter 3 Rape follows any war, and rape is almost always unrelated to sexual attraction. The phrase sexual violence should be replaced with sexualized violence, because there is nothing sexual about rape. Before the war, information was spread about where to go if you were a victim of domestic violence or rape. Since the war began, the focus has changed to how to escape your own body when you are raped. Women are not only at war, they are everywhere. At the moment of danger, women are often the first to respond. For example, humanitarian initiatives are mostly female. Female soldiers often experience stigma because there is always some neighbor who will say that they abandoned their children and went to war. Elena Zelenska said, our current resistance has a woman's face. <laughs> 